welcome to the Keltnet program, the third week of our Christmas song series. This week we are talking about the theme of the song of peace. Let's pray together. Thank you Heavenly Father that we can come to you and, and just listen to your word. Thank you that we can just come into your stillness and prepare our hearts as you want to draw us closer and show us what, what peace really means. Lord, in, in a time like this, we all just, we strive and we chase for peace and um, comfort. And therefore, Lord, I pray that you will uh, speak to our hearts now as we prepare our hearts Fill us with your spirit, fill us with your peace and grace, with your Holy Spirit, so that we can understand what you want to tell us today in your holy prayer. Amen. We find our scripture reading in Luke 2 verse 14. Luke 2 verse 13 and 14. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace to those on whom his favor rests. When we think about peace, we usually think about the nature or uh, we think about um, sitting at the ocean, at the beach and just looking at the waves and it just have this calming effect on us. We find when we talk about peace, we usually think it's a place, something somewhere um, in stillness, in quietness, no kids running around or loud music or neighbors yelling. It's just mostly a place of calmness, peace, where there's no, um, when there's no conflict or um, people disturbing your peace. But Today, we look at today's challenge for the Advent calendar. We, we look into uh, acknowledging all the people who lost uh, someone during this year. It can be during COVID, but it can also be um, through any other sicknesses or accidents. But just lo losing a loved one in this time. When you lose a person, especially if you're in through death or um, in, a, in a sudden way, we usually strive to make peace with it. We use people say that freedom with you. They want to, to give you a peace, something that will make your heart feel better. But when, when this story was written, when Jesus, story, Jesus birth was announced, the Romans at this time was it was a very difficult time for them as well. They had a very, in, in the um, economy, uh, what, it wasn't going well with them. They were waiting for this Messiah to deliver them. They were ruled by the Romans. So it was such a, it wasn't a good time for the, for the Jewish people at this time as well. So they really wanted to get in, uh, um, to be freed from the circumstances which is not different from today, from us. As we look to this word today, when Jesus, when we hear that the angels give this message to the, to the shepherds and say that the peace of the Lord has come. Um, we, in Afrikaans we say, This is, this is the message, that usually the verse that the smallest kids said um, at the Bispreke, the uh, Kerst program. But it was, it had such an important message. Because when, when the angels came to give this message to the, to the shepherds, they were the first ones, besides Mary and Joseph, that they delivered this message to. This, annu this announcement includes us. Imagine that it was announced to shepherds in the desert, in the field. Um, it's almost like everybody forget about them. You know, like David, when he was in the field, when Samuel came to look for a king, 
His father Jesse and his brothers forgot about him in, in the fields. Exactly the same here. This is the mindset that people had with, with shepherds. But actually, the, she the angels came to the shepherds and gave them this message of hope and peace. This includes us. We that we are Gentiles, we, we are sinners. Um, this message wasn't mostly for us. We weren't part of Jesus' family at this time. But giving this message to the shepherds was including us. That this peace, this message that was delivered was for you and me as well. So this is, good, this is a good song for us to sing along. This is a song that, that we can join into. That's actually saying, the angels are saying, come, you're part of this. Come on, sing with us. Um, because this includes you and me. So when, when, this, when we look back in 2,000 years ago and applying it, this message to us, we can see that this message includes us as well, as we are part in a difficult time as well. A lot of us struggle, a lot of us lost our jobs, a lot of us, it's going to be a very blue Christmas this year. But here, these angels proclaim that this message of peace that they will give, that it wasn't, uh, they weren't delivered by a Roman king or a Jewish king, that they wanted through, through um, um, war or being conquered by other colony, but they were actually just, they got a baby. You know, if you think about it, if someone tell you that a child, a baby is going to give us peace, you can say, mm, I can understand because babies give, do give you this kind of a peaceful, Feeling when you look at them when they sleep, but when they start to teething or they're not feeling well, it's not as peaceful anymore. But when this message, the angel says that a king was born that is going to give us peace, he had something greater in mind. It wasn't something that is going to solve our solutions at once. It's not a place that is taking us. But it's actually this message comes from a place. It is from the highest heavens this message is coming from. Meaning that this message, it's not something that an uh, earthly thing. It's not something that you can buy or you can get anywhere else. It comes from the highest heaven. It is sent from the highest heaven. So when we look for peace, it's not, we usually we look for something or a place here on earth. But here this message shows us that peace, it's not something that we can gain here. We chase and we run after um, the best of cars, the best houses, the best. We try to buy and for giving us this peace and making, uh, give us this comfort in ourselves. But here... We are told that peace that which is talked about here in this message that the Romans needed, even though they, it looked like chaos around them, it wasn't a physical peace that they would gain. What are we chasing? What are you chasing? What are you running after? Hoping that having the best marriage or the best children or the next best job will give you peace. Here we are reminded that peace is not a feeling, but it's a person. The baby that is sent is the one that's bringing us peace. The angel is not bringing peace. It is not giving us, giving the 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 shepherds peace, because he would just said, "Here's the peace," but actually. His, these angels are just announcing about this peace. The peace that has been born. This Christmas when we hear and we sing all our carols and being reminded of the story of Christmas, 
may we be reminded that Christmas, it's not a feeling of peace, but it's actually, it's, it's a person. It's this baby that's been born that will give us peace. It's not something that will dissolve or go away, but it's, a, it's someone who came to stay. Brothers and sisters, we are chasing, we are running after um, things to give us this comfort and this peace. But actually, we only needed Jesus. We only need to meet this Jesus. Like this, these shepherds went when they heard about this message, they went to the baby. We need to go to Jesus. He's not a baby anymore. He died on the cross and he rose, he rose to heaven and is, is in heaven now, in the highest heaven. But yet he sent his Holy Spirit to be with us. And this is the peace that we can receive. You and me do have access to it. Just log in, plug in into this peace. Let's go to the peace. We grew up in, a, in houses where where this peace was introduced introduced to us. Let's go back to that, to the roots of what has been taught to us. Amen. May this, this Christmas be a Christmas, peaceful Christmas with our friends, with our families. May we not chase the worldly peace, but may we chase the peace with others. May we ch chase the peace with God. And mostly, may we chase the peace within ourselves. May we find this peace that's already in, within us and realize that what we gain, what He gave us, it's much more than what He, he has planned for us. And it's not something that we can just pick up. Let's be, let this Christmas be a peaceful, Christmas with those around us even though it's a hard time of not having people who you love around you people who lost but I'm gonna miss my grandmother so much this Christmas but what gives me peace is knowing that where she at she is because she is with God in the highest heavens knowing that even though this pain is so so painful knowing that he his peace that he gave to us is the thing that will carry me through this don't forget to log in for our christmas service on saturday morning at nine our moderator will share the message with us um, god bless and may Peace of the Lord be with you wherever you go. May you share his peace with others. Amen. Amen.